importance of photosynthesis. What do we know? Chlorophyll, light and CO2 are essential for photosynthesis. Experiment conducted in two leaves. A variegated leaf or a leaf partially covered with black paper and one that was exposed to light. On testing these leaves for starch, it was clear that photosynthesis occurred only in green parts of the leaves in the presence of light. Half leaf experiment. Part of the leaf is enclosed in a test tube containing KOH soaked cotton, which absorbs CO2, while the other half of the leaf is exposed to air. The apparatus is set up in light. On testing for starch, it was found that the exposed part of the leaf tested for starch positive, while the portion that was in the tube showed negative. This proves that CO2 is essential for photosynthesis. Early Experiments Priestley 1770 he conducted experiments that revealed the role of air in the growth of green plants. Priestley observed that a candle burning in bell jar gets extinguished. Similarly, a mouse would suffocate in a closed space. He concluded that a burning candle or animal requires air. But when plant is placed in a bell jar, the mouse stayed alive and the candle continued to burn. The air used by candle and mouse is restored by plants. Engine House Sunlight is essential for plant process. In bright sunlight, small bubbles were formed around green parts of an aquatic plant. These bubbles were identified as oxygen. Sachs, 1854 he found that green parts in plants is where glucose is made and the glucose is usually stored as starch. In mid-19th century, photosynthesis features were known and that plants could use light energy to make carbohydrates from CO2 and water with evolution of O2. CO2 plus H2O in the presence of light gives rise to CH2O plus O2. Van Neel. He demonstrated that photosynthesis is light dependent reaction in which hydrogen from a suitable oxidizable compound reduces CO2 to carbohydrates. In green plants, H2O is hydrogen donor and is oxidized to O2. Some organisms do not release O2 during photosynthesis. When H2 is hydrogen donor, purple-green sulfur bacteria, the oxidation product is S and not O2. Hence, he inferred that O2 evolved in green plants comes from H2O and not CO2. This was proved by using radioactive isotope techniques.